Hey guys, Cyphus here from Defense of the Patients, and we are sitting with the Director of Global Esports for NVIDIA, James. Hi guys, James Grunke. James Grunke. Nice to meet you. Uh, so tell us what you're doing for esports. What is NVIDIA doing for esports globally? Uh, it's an important segment for us. Um, uh, here we are at uh, New York City with ESL1 and Super Week. Um, we've been with ESL this year, partnering with them to, uh, to provide GeForce GTX and, and G-Sync uh, gaming pl platforms for the world's finest esports programs. This is uh, the third Dota 2 major event we've done. Um, we were in Frankfurt with ESL, we were at uh, the International Dota 2 Championships, and now we're here. Um, and it's uh, been fantastic. The players' reaction to the systems and, and um, platform monitors, G-Sync monitors, have been incredible. So all of the computers right now the players are playing on are powered by some form of GeForce? They are GeForce GTX and G-Sync, so they're all 900 series. Yeah. That's awesome. So what are your plans for the future? Where are you guys headed from here? Uh, well, I think that you'll see us continue to work with ESL. We also uh, do our own hosting on, on occasion. We'll do a GeForce Esports event with a publishing partner. Last one we did was a Hearthstone Pro-Am, and uh, it was fantastic. Uh, the largest amateur tournament outside of China. So um, trying to foster some other games as well, in addition to kind of the big names, the CSGOs, the Dotas of the world? Sure, yeah. Um, when there's a new uh, title coming up, and if we can, we can help our publishing partners, we'll, we'll step up and, and help out. It's a great way to, to reach uh, two to three hundred million users out in the, in the global. So most of our, our fans are uh, casual players that mm -hmm. are kind of being introduced to the Dota 2 scene at large and uh, in esports at large. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> what do you what do you recommend to them? What what should they be what should they be powering their machines with if they want to start getting really serious with their gaming? Well, so if they're Dota 2 players and and, and they're mobile players and let's say they may be playing on integrated graphics and don't have a, a, a GPU, uh, the nine the GTX 950 is a great starting place. For a mobile player, right? Mm. And then we have all the way up to the high end, which covers any other games you might want to do. If you're looking for 300 frames per second, you Counter Strike, you the 980 tie is the fastest single GPU in the world. So um, uh, I think that we have something for everyone. And uh, uh, for Dota 2 guys, um, the 950 is a great product. See, I get a lot of guff because I have a 960 in my machine. Okay. And I didn't go for the 970. Okay. Uh, but I, I can personally say that 960 has powered that thing beautifully. Yeah. Uh, and you do notice a huge step up with, with just the detail even on the Dota map. Whenever you, when you step up from integrated graphics, which mm -hmm. I was doing for a way too long, mm. um, it, it's a far more immersive. Yes. And I, I feel like that helps quite a bit. Uh, what do you guys have coming up on the, on the horizon with, uh, in, with graphics? Is there anything that we can be on the lookout for that's what kind of exciting? What can I talk about? Um, <laughs> Um, well, uh, of course, uh, VR is exciting, yeah, and, absolutely. and there's been some you know, public things announced about that. That's certainly not my division. I can't give you any details on that, but I think Do you um, know people any, are pretty excited. Any of the games that are coming out that uh, the, the VR is going to be working with, that NVIDIA has been involved with? I don't. I'm not in that business unit, so okay. I don't think I can add so value so We there. didn't get anything out of them yet, guys. <laughs> uh, what else can we pump you for that might be, that might be interesting? Uh, any upcoming events that you guys are going to be at uh, in the, on the horizon? Uh, well, I know ESL is planning something in Asia, Southeast Asia, first part of 2016. Um, we'll be there. Um, uh, we're also working closely with the teams on a boot camp program. We have an esports studio in our on, in our headquarters. It's a five v five tournament emulation system with streaming. All the all the systems have uh, uh, C920 cameras on them. Um, and we bring in teams for a week of, of boot camping. Um, our first one was the INTZ from Brazil. They came up uh, to, to scrim against some U.S. teams, and, and uh, they were here for a week, given three meals a day. And it's, it's not about fancy food. It's about boot camp, right? And it's right. about winning. We had Cloud9 re most recently had their Heroes of the Storm team come in before the Las Vegas finals. And they came in, and they worked hard, man. They were just like... 10 to 14 hours a day. My partner Clay was hand handling the, the boot camp while I was in Cologne with ESL. And uh, they left from our boot camp to the event and they won it. And uh, so we were really proud. Yeah, of that. that's really yeah. that great. All right, so Cloud9, you guys own NVIDIA. At least uh, we'll say 15% sound good to you. 
Uh, 15%, I'm 15% sorry. 15% of their winnings, you know, since Oh, going to us? Yeah, that's kind of about right. <laughs> yeah, line, we're thinking about 15%. Yeah. That's, that's going to be the NVIDIA fee. Well, James, thank you very much. I appreciate you talking with me. And uh, we look forward to seeing what's coming from NVIDIA. Great. Nice to meet everyone. Bye-bye.